Tonight we're going to create a one pot creamy meatball soup. It is uh, paleo and keto diet friendly. Now you know that I've been working on the keto diet for a while and I've lost some weight. Uh, I was off of it for the uh, holiday season, but um, I'm going to go back on it. And so I think this will be our kickoff recipe. And I hope that you'll look for our um, diet blog that my wife and I are going to do. Uh, perhaps I'll put a link for that down in the description. But I got this recipe, I did a search because I've been looking for recipes and I did a search for uh, keto soup recipes and I found this one and it's uh, this one was made by Courtney O'Dell and she's got a food blog and website called Sweet Sea, Sweet Seas does, oh my, SweetSeasDesigns.com. <laughs> Is that the dog? Oh, the cat. That was one of our animals. Um, and so I'm kind of anxious to see, you know, how this uh, recipe is going to turn out. It was snowy today, snowy yesterday. In fact, um, you might remember that this is, there we go with the cats again, that this is actually the weekend of when we had a Friday off. Uh, in 2020 January so uh, I'm uh, actually very anxious to try this I'm, I'm ready to try it um, and we'll find out if this soup is good enough to make you get out Now let's take a look at the ingredients that you're going to need to make this soup. So our ingredients for this soup are, we've got about four pounds of uh, meatballs here. Now I've got home style meatballs. You could get Italian or the, actually the lady uh, from uh, Sweet Seas Designs, she uh, makes her own meatballs and you can see that on her website. But we've also got about 10 ounces of shaved Parmesan cheese, we got about three pounds of uh, sliced up mushrooms, we got two onions uh, diced up, three stalks of celery, uh, three carrot carrots, and, and about, how much was this? Half a cup, Half a cup that's right, of, of a minced garlic. I don't know if I said the one tablespoon, it actually calls for two, but one tablespoon, I did half. Uh, a tablespoon of Italian seasonings. We've got 24 ounces of beef broth and four cups of heavy whipping cream. Now I have, am doubling this because I have a big family that to eat this. Um, so you would half everything just to make a single batch. Uh, and if there's fewer of you, then you would even half that. So. Um, you know, and you go there. So now let's get started. Oh, and we're also going to need some olive oil to brown our meatballs in. So, oh, yes, and there it is. Olive oil. Oh, Popeye. Okay, so let's, uh, get, let's get started. All right, well, we've added enough olive oil in our soup pot here to uh, cover the bottom and just a little extra because I don't want the meatballs sticking. But I've got frozen meatballs over here, and I've get, let the oil start shimmering. I don't know if you can see those cool lines at the bottom. Now, I don't want my oil to burn, so I'm going to start adding in the meatballs. I, I, whoa! I want to make sure that these get defrosted and cooked. All right, well, let's see how that works out. Holy cow.
All right, well, now that all of these are well finished browning, we're gonna take those all out and set them aside as I have here. Ooh, these look good. Look at that. We're going to take all the meatballs out. Now, what it, the recipe doesn't call for this, but I feel like adding a little bit of butter to taste. And to, so this is going to be about, uh, I don't know, a couple of tablespoons, I guess. A couple of tablespoons just to kind of flavor it up a little. We've got the olive oil. We've got the grease from the meatballs. Now we're adding a little bit of butter. Alright, so to our uh, leftover grease, <laughs> grease is such a lovely word, we're going to add our two onions. And we're going to add our three pounds of mushrooms. Oh yeah. And our three carrots. Our three celery stalks. And probably most importantly, our half a cup of uh, garlic here. Oh my cow. Can you ever have too much garlic? So. So we'll just put this on slow-mo and cut these up for about five minutes until they're soft and, uh, uh, you know, getting clear. So that's been going, oh yeah, liquid came in. That's been going for about four or five minutes. I guess four, but I started it after the time we'd already started cooking. Yeah, they've softened up, browned a little bit. Oh, mm, I love the smell of mushrooms and onions and all that. Mm, yeah, okay, well. At this point, we are going to add the, um, what is this? It is 24 ounces of beef broth. And we're going to add our uh, Italian seasoning. This is just a tablespoon. The recipe actually calls for more than that, but I don't want it to be too herbed out. And the meatballs. We're going to add the meatballs back in here. All right, here goes. Oh. Yep. So now what we have to do is let this cook. We're going to bring the heat back up and let this um, the liquid reduce by about half, according to the recipe. So I don't know how long that's going to take. Let's see if it tells us doesn't say. So I'm going to guess probably about uh, 
10 minutes or so for that liquid to reduce down. So I guess we should switch it back to, to time lapse. Time lapse, that's what it's called. Okay. All right, so now that that has reduced, I don't know if it's reduced down by half or not, we're gonna lower the heat, or actually turn it off, yeah. No, there, turn off the heat. And you know, the recipe says to whisk, but I don't know, I don't see how I'm gonna whisk this. So we're gonna have to add in the whipping cream a little at a time and stir it in. Whoa. I should take it off of the heat. Okay. I gotta scoot it over here. There. So we wanna incorporate this into there. <coughs> oh, this is gonna be a nice creamy soup, isn't it? Four cups of whipping cream. That'll do it. we had some organic type ingredients and I feel like our, our uh, meatballs were store-bought so they were probably had more carbs than like homemade ones would have oh, look at that that looks kind of nice I don't think there's any whisk in this let's see what do we do next do I put the, uh, well let me stir this a little bit more and then we'll put it back on the heat we put it on a medium heat and then add that cream, the cheese on. Okay, so we're gonna put this back on medium heat here. So about a five. And we're gonna add this uh, shaved, I suppose we could have put grated, but we're gonna go ahead and just put in this shaved Parmesan cheese test at home. Oh yeah. Want that get melty? Once this gets all melted and incorporated, then we'll serve it up hot and see how it is. Okay, well, before we go through our taste test, I want to encourage you to subscribe and also to like this video and share it with your friends and hit the, uh, what do you call it, the little bell icon down there. Yes, be sure to do that so that you'll find out every time I put up a new soup video. Oops. Is everything okay? I think our cats are scratching things. Uh, so, and also comment down below if you have things you want me to try, recipes you want me to try, soups you know of that are really good. Uh, <laughs> the dog again. <laughs> uh, or if you know of some good keto websites or other things that you think uh, the soup spoon ought to try, just let me know in the comments down below. Okay, now for the reveal. So we're going to taste it. I really can't wait. Uh, but before I do, I have to be honest and let you know that uh, you'll notice that my shirt is different. I put on the, my owl apron and my hairdo is different because this is actually a couple of days later. Uh, what happened is the first time we did this, my audio cut out, the battery died, and well. Uh, so when I was trying to edit this together, I had the ending clip with, without any audio. So here we are. Uh, we've got our uh, yummy meatball soup. Now it was really good the first time I tried it. Believe me, it was. So this is actually, it's had a couple of days to stew and marinate. 
And John Paul says it was actually uh, better heated up. Jenna Marie, not so much. So we'll see what happens. What what Mr. Wilkerson Daddy says. Okay. Get my palette ready. Here it goes. Be sure I can get a meatball, carrot, and a mushroom. Oh yeah. I'm really hungry because I just got home from Bridges. So, all right. Smells really good. It's, you know, it's kind of like uh, Swedish meatballs, really almost. But, all right, here goes. Mm. Wow. I think I have to agree with John Paul. I'm sorry. But that is good. The second time around. Had a couple of days to to marinate. Man, this is good. Mmm, I like it. Ooh, and I just got a piece of onion. Mmm. Sorry, our dishwasher is going. Okay. I think um, the lady over at Sweet Seas Designs uh, dot com. I think she did a fabulous job. This is really good. So you should go check her out in the comments section below. I'll put a link to her website and the actual recipe. Wow, lady. This is so good. I can't believe it. I love this stuff. It's it's really good. I, uh, it seems kind of anticlimactic to me because it's a couple of days later. Then I already knew it was good. But... Wow, that's just really good. So, I hope you will subscribe, like, hit the bell button, comment, share, all that. And I hope that this, oops, I hope that this, mm -hmm. and I hope that this recipe, you'll find it good enough to help you, to help, to make you get out. So, you ready? Is it going? Oh, all right, I can edit this out. This can be part of our blooper reel. <laughs> <laughs>